Hey guys, welcome back to Twin Flicks. Now, if you're new to this channel, as I've said in the previous videos, we give focus more on reissued Blu-rays from different home media outlets. And we also do some film topic and movie type videos. So if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Well guys, a couple days ago we received a nice package from Milk Creek Entertainment. They released a bundle about, I, think, I believe it's about eight Blu-rays of their I Love 90s retro uh, Blu-ray set. I did an unboxing video of that with a special giveaway announcement on that video. So if you haven't checked it out, hit the link up above here somewhere or down below in the description. Anyways guys, so today we are reviewing one of the Blu-rays and this is from 1990, Dana Carvey, Opportunity Knocks. I urge you not to see this motion picture. It's just chock full of young ladies in sleeveless blouses and long, slow, delicious close-ups of tight buttock actors. Hi, my name is Dana Carvey. I recently made a motion picture called Opportunity Knocks and it... It's one of those rare films where one minute you're laughing and then this is not special. Suddenly you find yourself wiping a tear. Now, I can't say it's a film for the entire family, but I got a sneaky suspicion that a lot of you folks. Oh, don't fight! Don't fight! Saturday Night Live's Dana Carter in Opportunity Knocks. Leave my dress alone! Don't you look at my. All right, guys. Before we dig into the Blu-ray review, here are the Blu-ray specs. Opportunity Knox comes with an HD 1080p transfer and a DTS HD 2.0 stereo audio mix. And it maintains the original theatrical aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1, meaning the video will fill your entire screen. So guys, I'm gonna talk about the video here and wow, I was impressed with this one. Considering this is 29 years old now, Mill Creek did a very nice job with this transfer. I just finished watching it and while yes, the movie does show its age being made in 1990, but it shows it in a good way. Rewatching this, the HD really does give it a nice boost all around. It's very clean and stable image, along with some nice natural colors, reds, blues, yellows, from clothing, appliances and homes to the ocean and cars, especially the Porsche that he drives, all looks bright and colorful. The black levels though, I did notice some minor noise. For example, about 45 minutes in, there's a home theater set up in a house and the black equipment shows some noise in it. There's also another scene 50 minutes in during an outdoor party that looks very overly bright. And throughout the movie itself, it has kind of a glossy digital look to it. As for the grain levels, only grain I found was natural fine grain from the 35 millimeter print and it looked natural. I did notice some slight hiccups here and there with some specs and artifacts, but honestly, unless you're looking for them, you're probably not even gonna notice them. While it won't set the HD world on fire, I found this a very acceptable and solid video transfer I was, again, really impressed by. All right guys, now let's get into the audio transfer. As I said, Opportunity Knox comes with a DTS HD 2.0 stereo mix. And like with the video transfer, the audio is always also a hit and miss with Mill Creek releases, mainly because stereo audio mixes are more confined, obviously, than the 5.1 surround mixes. And they can also sound kind of muddy at times. So I was really curious how this one would sound. And honestly, guys, I have to say I was, I was pretty happy with it. Especially with the dialogue, it sounds clean and clear and loud where I didn't have to blast my volume to hear what's being said clearly. Instead, I had the volume at a comfortable level throughout. Now, this is a more heavy dialogue driven comedy with music playing a part in the film here and there for the comedy. So there isn't a whole lot of sound effects aside from some ambient and environmental sounds from just common things like cars driving, doors opening, closing, the cityscape, things like that. And But they all sound very good even though they're minor sound effects. Music, uh, either the, the score or pop tracks all sounds really good with some nice force and fidelity behind it all. The famous scene of Dana Carvey singing the Born to be Wild song. Wild. 
sounded great with some nice natural bass and some nice panning between the two front speakers. This was actually probably the best sounding part of the movie. Also, I didn't find any audio distortions such as age-related wear and tear or audio dropouts. Just like with the video transfer, I was likewise impressed with the solid audio transfer. All right, guys, how about the extras? Did Mill Creek Entertainment actually put any extras on this Blu-ray? And wouldn't you know it, Mill Creek actually slapped some extras with this release, which, as you guys know, is pretty rare for Mill Creek to do. Usually, these types of Blu-ray releases are just bare-bone discs. So the extras include 28 minutes worth of deleted scenes and a theatrical trailer. All right, guys, the Blu-ray scores. I'm going to give the video a 4 out of a 5. The audio, likewise, a 4 out of a 5. The extras, a 2 out of a 5. It was nothing great. Overall Blu-ray score, a 4 out of a 5. As for the film itself, I've always enjoyed it, and it was really fun re-watching it. Yes, it is very, very dated, but still I had a lot of fun watching it, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of a 5. Mill Creek has really stepped up their game lately, and this is honestly probably one of the better Blu-ray releases for a movie that's about 30 years old. So yeah, I'd say it's definitely worth picking up. Opportunity Knox is now available from Mill Creek Entertainment on Blu-ray and ranges from 10 to 15 bucks, depending where you pick it up or you can order it down below at the description and the link. I want to know guys, let me know down below if you've seen Opportunity Knocks, what you think of it, and if you plan on picking up the Blu-ray. As always guys, once again, thanks to Mill Creek Entertainment, thanks to all you guys out there. We wouldn't have been able to come as far as we have without you guys, and we truly appreciate it. And as always guys, we'll see you in the future.